Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I felt like playing some of the Insect Glaive in some Sunbreak, and I'm probably going to go take it to one of my favourite matchups for it being one of the Rathalos, specifically the silver one. Alright, I believe this was my Berserk set as well, at least it said Zerk in the, uh, the notes there. Yeah, it is. Okay, beautiful. So I need to chug an Immunizer, because I also ate for the wrong food, which is just unfortunate. Didn't think I was going to play a Berserk set, but that's what it said as it is, so that's what I'm using. Uh, this shouldn't be that bad, as long as I remember the controls are, uh, like, so in this game, because they're opposite between uh, this game and World, which are the two that I've played Bug Stick in. Shouldn't be too bad once I get that going. Once I get my buff, of course, as well, would be very nice. Oh, yeah, this has got Bloodlust on it, too. Which is very unfortunate, because, uh, I've not built this set all that well, then. Because, basically, like, Berserk setups are normally run. No health drain. There's a health drain on here, which isn't that bad, honestly. I'm well equipped enough to deal with it, honestly. So it shouldn't be all that bad, really. Do need to break apart so I can actually deal some decent damage, but that's besides the point. Get the bug to do some damage for me. Build up some of that bloodlust meter as well, of course. Another bug. Okay. He runs and spins. Smack him. Okay, we beat Bloodlust. Now we won't have negative health stream, which is very, very nice. Kind of wish he would do a decent attack to approach. But it is, it is. Is what it is, that is. <laughs> Didn't mean to rhyme there, but... That. I always forget how bad some of the hitboxes can be. Goodness. I was completely behind his, like, front trample. And it hit me while I was behind him. So that's good. Okay, get one of them. Send the bug. It's going in the air again. It's fine. If I can get him knocked down, actually, I might be able to land a decent chunk of damage. Unfortunate that he decided to land as I press the button. But again, it is what it is. Once I get either him in super state or a broken part, we should be golden. Okay. Bug to deal some more damage. Collect that. Collect that. There's the super state. I need to put the weapon away so I can get the wings. So otherwise, it's just going to go to the mark that I left. There we go. He missed the dive. Oh, he actually lands off that. Interesting. I didn't think he did. Beautiful damage. Send that at him. He's doing the nuke. Unfortunately, it hit me because why not? You know, why not? And we were one hit from a damage check. Typical. Get the dogs spinning. They are on the wings as well, which is nice. Tetra Seal activates their spin for Insect Glaive, so it's very, very crispy if you have the dogs with this. He's doing Talons again. Send the bug at him to get some extra damage while we can't normally do damage. Once we beat the Bloodlust, we get a full heal, and we can reset over here too. And then send the Kintak at him, get damage. Okay, that's fine. Go to the side. If we can break the face, we'll uh, be able to actually hurt him again. That or I can go for the, the wings there, but... It's not the safest option in the world, especially in this game. You all saw the hitbox earlier. It's uh, not the best idea. Or not the most reliable idea, at least. Okay, it's fine. He stomps again. Like, this is honestly one of the best matchups for Aerial Insect Glaive, if you want to play Aerial Insect Glaive, because his wings take ridiculously high damage in all regards, essentially. So it's actually really, really solid at dealing with him. Nope. And forward. Just smack him. I do a lot more than my Kinsect's attack, so I didn't bother sending him. Like, instead of uh, cancelling my combo, that is. Okay, that's fine. He runs up sweep. It missed, luckily, which is nice. Got my red. Let's get some more buffs while I'm sitting here. Or get some more damage with the Kinsect, that is. He attacks out of that. Fine, we get another one. And another one. We broke the face. I think? No, that's the wing. Oh, good stagger, good stagger. I should have sent the Kinsect back to me. That way it could still deal damage and uh, still have to come back to me. Because obviously it ran out of stamina. So, wouldn't have been able to do much with that at all. Get away, send that. He sweeps in front of him. What? It... I, I'm almost certain it doesn't have that much range, but okay. That's fine. I guess it does. Nope. Send it at him. Yeah, unfortunately our sharpness is looking real bad. 
that's purely because there's no good hit zone to hit. So, ooh. Why did it not do a hit? Oh, I bounced. That's why. It's like, why, why bounce? I'm certain... Yeah, I'm just bouncing on blue. That's disgusting. And failed damage check. Again, we're just dealing no damage. Because, uh... His face isn't weakened and he decided to... That shouldn't have interrupted it. It shouldn't have interrupted it because he didn't actually knock me back. He just hit me, apparently. Yeah, we'd be doing drastically better if he decided to stay in stupor state, but he literally left it instantly. So we got nothing out of it. So, basically you have to be on the struggle bus until we break his face. Or I just suck it up and go the wings by doing aerial stuff. But I really don't want to. Getting hit, not really my favorite thing. Especially out of the air, because you spend your turn basically going into the air and then you get hit. Not a great feeling. Oh, super state, excellent. Good, good, good. And in rage. Hopefully I can get the mark on his face before he moves. I think I got it. I did. Excellent. Dive into fireball. Get some good damage on his head now if I could actually hit it. I should have sent him back to me. The Kinsec. Really? Animation cancel into the fireballs. Interesting. Let's just get the damage real quick. It. Pretty sure that missed the face and hit the neck, but that's okay. That's fine. Shouldn't track heavily enough to, like, warrant rolling or sprinting away. Nice and simple. We bit our bloodlust, so I got a full heal from that. The double bite that hits behind him. Okay, that's fine. Get some more damage. That's gonna hit me, because I was in an animation. The big nuke. Just gonna chase him down. I've got plenty of Y-bugs for this. So that's not a problem. Get the spiker. Send the Kintec out, get some damage. The face is finally broken now. You can see we're dealing drastically better damage, which is good. Finally. <laughs> it's gonna sweep. Wake up Talons, interesting. Call it back so it does damage. Get the red buff, get the orange. That's not the orange. Get the orange. Get the orange. Put the weapon away, get hit because he decided to buy it. Why not? Get the white. He's sweeping, yeah. Okay, keep smacking the face. We got a stagger, so have all of it miss. Okay, he's gonna sweep. Send the Kinsec. One more, we got a knockdown. I should have animation cancelled with recall instead, because we would have been able to send the Kinsec out one more time here, but that's okay. Some more damage. Wake up. Something, yeah. He tends to do that, honestly. Rathalos likes to wake up attack quite often. Good little knockdown. We've got our dog spinning. Call it back so it does damage and we get to recharge him. Both dogs are in spin mode now, which is fantastic. Okay, he's back in super state. Getting nuked again. That's fine. Spiker this. Just wait for his face to... Wow, I did not aim that at all where I wanted, but that's okay. No, sir. Gonna chase after him this time. Actually, no, I'm not, because he, yeah, does the dive. Spike his face. That's what I wanted to happen. Much better damage. It's just full heal. Again, it doesn't track heavily enough to actually warrant sprinting. So I don't have to worry. Wasted Intrepid on wind pressure, I guess. The dogs are both in spin mode, which is great. Send the Kinsect out that attack. One more. Beautiful. Kinsect's still powered up, but he's got red. So I'm going to take it. Put the weapon away so we can get white. Excellent. Dodge the bite that hits behind him. Yep, of course. Send the Kinsect out. I have to aim it manually if I'm aiming it. Never mind, I just put a mark. Send it and go away. That's fine. Sweep. That's all good. We land a Titra Seal, call it back so it does damage. Spin. One into the Kinsect. It's fine. Takes a moment here. I could just hit his tail, honestly. But he's gonna run and do something. Or land and do something, usually. Yeah, again, he likes to act out of things, normally. Same thing, he likes to act out of stuff. Did the bite that hits behind him. So we just wait. Back in the air again. 
we knocked him out with the Kinsec. Call it back. Get another one. I should have definitely sent the Tentra Steel there. That was a loss in damage. Not actually good. But that's okay. Gonna sharpen. Maybe he'll be tired. He's tired enough. Insect. Smack him. Call it back. The bite into sweep. He did not sweep. But I had Intrepid, so we're good. Some more damage. Get our dog spinning. That's why I'm being greedy here. He should go down very, very soon before I have to reset even. Call it back. Get one more spin in, maybe. Good stagger from the Kinsect. Unfortunate time to lose my buff. He is definitely going to be dead very, very soon here. Get the Wyatt. Okay, we have to roll. Especially if he chooses to buy it. One more spin. Dog should be able to finish him, I reckon. Maybe? I feel like he's ridiculously close. Kinsek got the kill. I knew he was close. That was pretty fun, though. I, I don't know why I decided to use the Berserk set. I normally wouldn't. Maybe I just didn't want to get one shot. Who knows? Oh yeah, I forgot I usually show you the builds at the end. So here it is real quick. It's not the greatest build. I'd usually remove Bloodlust from Berserk sets. It just makes them drastically comfier. And I'm using a Berserk 2 with a 3-1. As well as all the skills and decorations. Green numbers are decorations. You just count them out. They're not too hard to deal with. It'll take like three minutes if you want to go through them. Just screenshot there and there. Well, everybody, that was playing some Bug Stick or Insect Glaive in some Monster Hunter Sunbreak. Still a very, very fun weapon. And I'm actually really keen to try it out in some GU as well. But I need a ton of materials and stuff that I just don't have. So that'll happen at some point, but probably not anytime soon. As always, though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.